is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today i'm going to be showing you guys how to injure and bloody up your wwe action figures yes if you're wanting to paint an injury on there you know that they, they got freaking hit with a steel chair they bled everywhere and you know it's the next night on the show and you want it to look like they bled the night before and you want to paint a band-aid on their forehead like seth rollins over here or you want to uh show off some blood you know they get hit with a barbed wire bat they get hit with a chair a sledgehammer or whatever and you want them to be bloodied up right here like Dean Mean Machine Ambrose I'm gonna show you how to do that I'm also going to show you how to paint black eyes and uh, we're gonna go over you know uh, some shoulder injuries and stuff like that as well as different equipment you can use to show off injuries which is kind of obvious but I think that we should go through them anyway because Mattel and Jax and WWE has done a real good job of giving us accessories to accent injuries if you want them in your pick feds if you want them on your your shows or what, whatever you want to do if you just want that detail in there you can do that I have paints I have brushes I have all the stuff you will need to paint on injuries guys so what we're gonna do is get straight into it so starting off guys I guess I can go through the equipment if you wanted to show off injuries you know crutches crutches are obviously a good way to show injuries I think ringside collectibles has these available for purchase and they are very very cheap you can literally get like 10 of them for like five dollars or cheaper and if you use code MD toys at ringside collectibles you can save even more money and they have ringside exclusive crutches for your figure so that is a good place to get that they also have wheelchair packs which is what Akira Tozawa is in and in that pack you get a wheelchair you get a neck brace I think you may get a pair of crutches so if you want to buy all of it together you can do that I don't think it comes with the arm sling like Sami Zayn's wearing over here or anything but you do get the wheelchair you get the neck brace and you get a pair of crutches which it, uh, goes a long way so that is something you can take mind of if you want to make your figures look injured. Go over to Ringside Collectibles. They have really cool accessories for you to purchase for that. Another thing that you can purchase is the stretcher that Daniel Bryan is sitting on right here. You guys will see, obviously, he is laying on that stretcher. And this is the Ringside Exclusive Deluxe Stretcher, and it's very, very highly detailed. It's very nice. It's actually supposed to be yellow, and my boy Mac actually sent this to me. Huge shout-out to him um, for sending me this, and it's beautiful looking. You know, he custom painted it, but it is yellow, and it works very nice. And this can obviously signal injuries if you're wanting to, you know, your guy does a big spot, he lands on his neck, the, the referees or whatever have to come out and escort him off the premises. You put him on there, you wheel him out of the arena. This is something that you can get that detail with in your pick fed shows. There's also this stretcher, which is the smaller version. You have the Ultimate version, and then you have the version that came with the Elite 52 Braun Strowman. Both of those are great options. Obviously, the Ultimate Stretcher is going to probably cost you more, but I'm not sure how much the Braun Strowman's going for. But this one works as well if you don't want to spend the more money on this one, even though this one is much better. You know, it is personal preference, honestly. Another thing that you can purchase, and it comes with Stone Cold. It may come in a few battle packs, and that is these knee braces. You see the black knee brace right here, guys. I think that there is a Stone Cold Basic out there that has a red knee brace. There may be a basic that has gold knee braces. It's just whatever. Um, Stone Cold Steve Austin elite figures and some basics do have the knee braces if you want you know to sell a knee injury or something whatever you want to do there are knee braces out there that you can buy um, that come with those if you want to do that. Uh, some more equipment that you can get. I think it's the uh, this Sami Zayn over here is wearing an arm sling, and the arm sling is I think it, I don't honestly know what it comes with, guys. I think it comes with certain battle packs, like some battle packs back in the day. I honestly couldn't tell you what figures it comes with. Just search eBay Mattel arm sling or WWE figure shoulder. I don't really know what to to look up honestly to find that, but I know that maybe somebody down in the comment section below could let me know what that figure. Um, what figures or figure came with that arm sling so that is good to sell injuries you know your guy takes a big AF bump and you know he hits his shoulder he's selling the shoulder injury that is something you can do and I think the last bit of equipment that you can buy for your WWE figures to make them look injured is this rib wrap I know this came with the Elite 38 Macho Man Randy Savage and that is a really good thing to use I put it on my Seth Rollins right here if you guys remember he got beat up on the last episode of MDT Live which is exactly why he has a black eye and the uh, the band-aid on his forehead and then Dean Mean Machine Ambrose also you know th them two had a very big scrap at MDT sold out so they are both you know recovering from little minor injuries that occurred in their epic clash at MDT sold out. So we have the bloodied up figure here. I got some shoulder tape over here, which is something that I also 
painted onto Dean Mean Machine because he actually took a bump into the barricade. I think he got power bombed by Seth Rollins into the barricade. And so, you know, his shoulder's a bit sore. So I wanted to paint that on there. I knew that Cesaro, the Elite 58 Cesaro, had this painted on there. So I just copied it. I looked at Cesaro's here. I took my black apple barrel paint. This is something you can actually get at Walmart. It is Apple Barrel. It's very cheap. I think it's like 57 cents or so. And you just buy a pack of brushes either from Walmart or something. I'd probably get the Folk Art brand. Um, don't get any with the white bristles. Those are usually terrible. Get some that, you know, have good bristles on them. This is, you know, what I did. I just painted on there. And that's how I sell the shoulder injury of Dean Mean Machine Ambrose. And then the other piece of equipment is the white elbow pad, which is a good to sell uh, elbow injuries. I think that... I don't think Samoa Joe came with it. I think he should come with it, but he never does. I know CM Punk has come with it multiple times, and I'm sure you can find one of these. It may have came with other figures in a battle pack, too. I'm not exactly sure. Again, somebody can help me out in the comment section below. But this is something that you can paint on. I'm not going to go through it in the video, but I will show you how to paint cuts and band-aids and uh, black eyes. We'll get to that in just a second. So I believe that's all the equipment. I believe I have covered every little piece of equipment that you can use to sell your injuries. You know, if, uh, like I said, if they take a big bump, you know, they, they freaking get busted open. You want to show them the next night. But selling the rib injury, the knee injury, stretchered off. Shoulder injuries, arm sling, neck brace. You can get all of that stuff from just WWE figures alone. But if you're wanting to paint your injuries, such as black eyes, um, a cut on the forehead, a cut on the chest, whatever, I'm about to show you how to do that. So let's get started. So Randy Orton's father is going to be my base here today, guys. You guys can see this is just his basic Walmart exclusive flashback figure. And what I use to paint blood onto my figures is I take this Apple Barrel Flag Red. Again, you can get this paint at Walmart and it is very cheap. Again, this is usually in stock every single time I go, and all that I do, literally, this is exactly what I do when I'm trying to paint. This is what I did for Seth Rollins on MDT Live. This is what I did for Dean Mean Machine Ambrose on MDT Live and sold out and everything. I literally shake it up a little bit. I unscrew the top right here, and then all I, this is literally the exact steps I take. I undo it right here. I set the top on the ground, I take my brush, and this is like a, sort of a smaller detail brush. You don't want some massive brush, you know, you're painting his whole face red, unless I guess that's what you want. John Cena or Eddie Guerrero versus JBL. I literally dip the tip in just a little, like literally just a little bit, guys. Like you barely want any on there. And then I go straight to the figure, and uh, I go to the forehead like you're about to see, and I literally just put a little gash. And I kind of want to make it like sort of like streaky a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Give it a little diagonal lines because nobody bleeds perfectly. So if it was just a cut across the forehead, that's probably what I would leave it as. But if I want it to drip, you know, I'll just kind of come down the nose a little bit like so. And I'll just follow that line right there and it'll drip down perfectly like that. And then just kind of come down his face come down his eyebrow a little bit and there you go this is literally what I do if I'm doing blood I literally do that exact process I've done it for Seth I've done it for Dean I've done it I don't know who else is busted open maybe John Cena at Money in the Bank or something but that is literally what I do for blood guys and if you want to again if you want it to you know pour out more like let's say the match is gone maybe this is the beginning of the match and you know he takes another steel chair shot or another sledgehammer or the match is just going on and on you know you'll you'll add blood as the match goes on so as the match goes on, maybe, you know, a few pictures later or, you know, you want to, you know, continue on, you'll add some more blood here, get it going, you know, thicker. It's running more and more because he's, you know, continuing in the match and you want um, him to bleed more. This is exactly what I would do. I would add more as it just runs down his face. Maybe come down the other side here and, you know, continue down the nose. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but see, like that right there, that is that, that looks like money team. I, I like that. It's a bit gloppy right here, um, which I could fix, but I mean, you guys get the idea. Like, this is basically what I go for when I'm just painting blood on my figures, and that's how I would do it. If, you know, he continues in the match, uh, maybe the first cut happened earlier in the match, and then he continued to fight. Maybe it's a longer match, and, you know, he continues to bleed. The blood would obviously continue to rush. It's all about the details and the pick feds and stuff. So that's what I would do if I were to paint blood onto a figure. 
and for black eyes it's a little bit different i'll get into that in just a second but say it's the next night on monday night raw or whatever bob orton had a great match and he uh, he's beat up from his match. Maybe he had a street fight with his son, Randy Orton. Maybe there's a great storyline going on there. Randy Orton beat the hell out of him, and they just went back and forth, father and son. It's the next night on Monday Night Raw. Let me go ahead and watch this off real quick. All right, so it's the next night on Monday Night Raw. I went ahead and cleaned off his face, and I'm prepping him for that show. And, you know, I want to paint a Band-Aid on his forehead, and I want to give him a black eye under the left eye. And what I do to get that paint off, by the way, guys, uh, Apple Barrel acrylic paint comes off pretty pretty easily, especially if it's dried hard. It comes off really easily. You know, you just run it under some hot water. You take the head, you run it under the hot water, just rub it with your thumb. You may have to get a toothpick to get, like, the little creases of his cheek or his nose or whatever, and you just take that toothpick and get up in there. It will come off pretty easy. You know, uh, don't use any metal or anything so you don't damage the plastic. Just get a toothpick, run it up in there. It will get the paint off, I promise you that. I've done it multiple times with Seth, Dean, other characters and everything like that so use that acrylic paint you be sure to use apple barrel or acrylic paint and do not use anything you know more permanent because then you'll, you'll just ruin a head scan so that is what uh, I would do to get it off but what I do for band-aids is I use the apple barrel white just like the red it's literally the same brand apple barrel you can get it from Walmart if you don't have Walmart again go to somewhere a hobby store get white acrylic paint, red acrylic paint, purple acrylic paint, which we'll get into, but this is just for the Band-Aid. I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did with the blood, which is, so we're going to shake it up, remove the top here, and we're going to do exactly like we did with the red, and we're just going to hold it right here, get our paintbrush, dip it a little bit in there, get a little bit of paint on the tip here, and then we're going to bring Bob in, and we're going to just paint like a subtle line on his forehead. If there's not a lot of hair space, like, you know, on Seth back there, I have two lines with, you know, that sort of bondage tape going through the middle, the little middle stripes. If his forehead's not thick enough, then we'll just come in with, like, one line and give him sort of a, uh, you know, just one little strip here to seal up that wound that we had. And if you want to, you can actually, you can actually give him the, the Band-Aid there. And if you want to, maybe you can do some diagonal lines, but I don't think, you know, the white doesn't look bad at all. I think that that can work for a band-aid or a bandage on the head there. So he's got his head sealed up there as uh, his bandage, and he is good to go. And now we're going to do his black eye. Again, if you want to have the Seth Rollins look, you're just going to make two lines and then connect the lines, and that's how you get that look. But now I'm going to show you how to do the black eye underneath Bob Orton's left eye over here. So how I paint black eyes, guys, is I get this color right here. It is Apple Barrel. Again, you can get all three or four of these colors at the exact same spot. You ain't got to go nowhere. It is Purple Pansy. Yes, Purple Pansy. That is the name of the paint. We're not going to do the same thing that we did with the red and the white. We're actually going to get like a bottle cap or a small little container here. Um, I did put maybe a few drops of water in here. There's a little bit of water in there, as you guys can see. I'm just going to pour a little bit of paint in here, just kind of squeeze it. Um, just like that, that is a perfect amount just right there. You guys can see that purple in there and you're just gonna kinda swish it around here. If you have an off brush, maybe a different brush that you'd like to use, or the other end of your paintbrush that you're using, just take it and stir it up right here. So you'll stir the water and the purple together like so. You see how it all mixed together there? It should be like a runny, watery purple, and that's exactly, that's exactly what you want. You want it to be like a runny, watery purple, and we're gonna mix that up a little bit and when it's good to go um, I guess you can wipe that off on a towel or whatever I'm not going to right now maybe I won't get it anywhere but what we're gonna do is the same thing with the red and white just kinda dip it in the corner right here and go up under his left eye and you're gonna obviously don't get it in his eye I did get a little purple on his chest but it's not that big of a deal um, we're gonna come right here and I'm going to paint underneath his eye to give him that black eye look and the reason that you thinned it out is because you want it to have that fade color. You don't want it to be like all thicksies and look all weird. So it may take a few coats, but this is what exactly what we want. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You can see the purple black eye painted on there. Um, again, you want it to be sort of a thin coat, and then once that dries, come back with another coat and another coat until you get the thickness that you want. You don't want it to be just, again, solid purple. 
like Mustafa Ali tights or Will Ospreay tights. You don't want it to just come in here like this color because then it's going to look really just unrealistic. This looks like a faded real life black eye and if you want to you could even get a darker purple than this or lighter purple and you could do that if you wanted to but I like this color a lot. I think it looks realistic. You got his bandage on his forehead to prevent that cut, stop that bleeding. You got the black eye on there and he is ready to go out and show off his injuries that occurred with his epic match or street fight with his son Randy Orton and that's pretty much everything you need to know about you know giving injuries to your figures guys I mean I told you about the equipment you can use that Mattel has again go over to ringside collectibles you can buy the the ultimate stretcher you can buy the wheelchair the crutches all of that good stuff you can also buy you know the rib wrap from Macho Man you can get the sling um, from different battle packs and stuff like that you can get the knee brace from Stone Cold Steve Austin and all that good stuff but I hope you guys did learn today's video I hope you guys did enjoy and learn something maybe you can show off the injuries that you painted on your own figures if you guys have any other tips that you would like to see um, I think this is this is literally the exact process I take when doing black eyes bandages and anything I do for injury related events that take place in the pick fed guys so I, got, I hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did comment down below leave a like if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys and I will see you guys in the next video thank you